sounds like some sunscreen is being absorbed into our bloodstream and elsewhere in our body. In today's video, I really want to touch quickly on the sunscreens that the FDA is looking into, uh, specifically the four types that were tested that have been shown to be absorbed by the blood at a higher limit than the FDA regarded as all right without toxicity testing. So let's back up here. There are two main types of sunscreen. There are physical sunscreens that block uh, the sun like a mirror, and then there are chemical sunscreens which kind of absorb the sun's rays like a sponge. And they've been around for many, many years. A sunscreen is essential and you should be using it not only to prevent sunburns and skin damage, but to prevent cancer and also if you have acne, to prevent acne scars, marks, pigmentation, um, etc. So sunscreen is necessary but some of the safety has come into question, specifically because other countries have banned or limited the use of certain products that the US government has not. So earlier uh, this year and last year, the US government decided to look into some of them. I believe that there are 16 sunscreen ingredients on the market that are medically proven to have SPF factors. And out of those, uh, a bunch of them are being tested, if not like 10 to 13. And we have a video on this that I've been mini meaning to edit. I'm gonna try my best to get it up this week. But in the meantime, I do wanna tell you about what just happened over the last two days and why a new government study um, showed some preliminary evidence that these are being absorbed into the bloodstream. So they basically took 24 healthy individuals. Again, these aren't people who have cuts on the skin. These are healthy individuals who sh function perfectly. And out of 24 people, they gave them these sunscreens and they said, please use these the way the bottle recommends, which is essentially reapplying four times a day with the correct amount. Now, as they did this, they decided to measure the plasma levels and specifically how much of the active ingredient of the sunscreen showed up in plasma. The FDA currently states, um, by the way, they did test avobenzone, octibenzone, um, octosalate, and one other, a camsole. A camsole is the generic name um, for another sunscreen called, I don't use it because it's not cruelty free and it's not good for the oceans. It's, it's trademarked by uh, L'Oreal um, or somebody like that. But uh, a camsole is the fourth one, um, metroxyl. Metroxyl is what it is. So if you see metroxyl, it basically is a camsole. And then avobenzones, oxybenzones, if it ends in O-N-E, those are the ones that we're concerned about. So it was shown that after about a week when they were taking out the blood plasma from these uh, people, they noticed that higher levels of all of these chemicals, including mainly oxybenzone, or I'm sorry, avobenzone, were showing up um, that they were absorbed into the blood. And the US federal government states that I think it's 0.5 nanograms per milliliter is what is allowed at the maximum before there has to be sufficient safety testing. And the amount that was absorbed and shown to be evident inside of the blood plasma was uh, number like a four. So that's eight times higher than is what is regulated um, or what is allowed to be sold without specific toxicity testing. So they are still looking into this. Um, what does this mean for you? It does not mean that you should stop using sunscreen. And specifically, if you do have a chemical sunscreen, you gotta remember that just because this is being absorbed by the body doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's being absorbed and we need to test and look into those things. You know, if it's between you not using sunscreen and using avobenzone that gets absorbed more than we thought it did, you should still use it. But if you have the option to switch to a physical or a mineral sunscreen, that is what I use. I find it is better for my acne. And um, these physical and mineral sunscreens don't get absorbed by the blood the same way. Again, they sit on top of the skin uh, and they reflect light instead of absorbing it. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit scary. I think that some of the research that was done in other countries um, potentially was trying to look at birth defects. Of course, they were screening for cancer. The problem is we don't have the answers yet. So in the interim, please be aware of this. You're probably going to see a lot of stuff online about this. Don't be afraid if you've been using this for five to 10 years, don't freak out. You know, there are much more unhealthy things in your burger than there are in the sunscreens. 
but this is something that you want to be aware of and um, something that we will be updating. So again, this is just a quick update on the news that just broke. Um, sunscreen, uh, specifically avobenzone, oxybenzone, uh, ectocrylin, uh, and the other ones. I'm having a day. These are absorbed into the bloodstream and they circulate in our beautiful bodies. So always remember to protect yourself from the sun. If you want that video on sunscreen, I am going to hustle. It's like 30 minutes long, so I really want to cut it down. But yeah, I'm also working on some skin science videos that I know I owe you. And I appreciate you working with me throughout the month of May as I post every single day. Turn the notification bell on so you don't miss it. I love you. Always remember to beautiful inside and out. And here's a video on sunscreens that I do support and recommend if you're looking for some good options. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.